A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California on Saturday. 30 payloads were launched during the Bandwagon 2 mission for companies and organizations including Korea ADD, Aeroscience and Technology, Exolaunch, Hawkeye 360, Maverick Space Systems, Cita Space, Tomorrow Companies Incorporated, True Anomaly, and Think Orbital. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Ignition. Lift off to the Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Bandwagon 2. Vehicles teaching down range. We've had good call outs from Mission Control that everything is looking good or nominal as you're hearing from Mission Control. Confirmation of our landing burn. Stage two FPS is safe. Landing leg deployed. Impact shut down. Iranian-backed Houthi rebels distributed footage on Thursday of what they said were two hypersonic ballistic missiles of type Palestine II fired towards Jaffa area. It comes as a series of intense Israeli airstrikes shook Yemen's Houthi-held capital and a port city early Thursday and killed at least nine people, officials said, shortly after a Houthi missile targeted central Israel. Israel's strikes risk further escalating conflict with the Iranian-backed Houthis, whose attacks on the Red Sea corridor have drastically impacted global shipping. The rebels have so far avoided the same level of intense military strikes that have targeted Palestinian militant group Hamas and Lebanon's Hezbollah, fellow members of Tehran's self-described axis of resistance. Israel's military said that it conducted two waves of strikes in a pre-planned operation that began early Thursday and involved 14 fighter jets. The military said the first wave of strikes targeted Houthi infrastructure at the ports of Hodeida, Salif and the Ras ISA oil terminal on the Red Sea. Then, in a second wave of strikes, the military said its fighter jets targeted Houthi energy infrastructure in Sana'a. Residents and shop owners in Kiev grappled with the aftermath of a Russian ballistic missile attack, which killed at least one person and injured nine others early on Friday, officials said. Many stood observing the shattered windows, damaged buildings and now ruined Christmas decorations. Moscow claimed the attack was in response to a Ukrainian strike on Russian soil using American-made weapons. Nader Ahundov, whose Shoplov restaurant was destroyed, said that although the loss of his restaurant was challenging, it didn't compare to the loss of life. It will recover or it won't, that's the way it is, you can't help it, that's life, he said. A shop worker, Julia, 
who didn't give her last name, echoed a similar sentiment, saying that, many people could have been hurt at that moment. At least three loud blasts were heard in Kiev shortly before sunrise. Ukraine's Air Force said it intercepted five Iskander short-range ballistic missiles fired at the city. The attack knocked out heating to 630 residential buildings, 16 medical facilities, and 30 schools and kindergartens, the city administration said, and falling missile debris caused damage and sparked fires in three districts. Люди много потеряли, свою жизнь потеряли, семью, детей. А что я потерял? Ресторан только лишь. Это ерунда все. Это моя лучшая жизнь. Тут есть, кто-то умер, наверняка умерли, да, боже, ужас, представляете. Вот, люди жизнь потеряли, а что я, ресторан, она восстановится все. Или не восстановится, так и будет. Ничего не поделайте, такова жизнь, такой у нас сосед тварь, животный. Звісно, страшно, що ну, в першу чергу думка про те, що тут може хтось бути. Якби в будь-якому випадку є працівники, які працюють, охоронники, ті самі клінери, які приходять з самого ранку. Ну, дуже страшно. І добре, що це було в такий час, коли мало хто був на роботі, тому що якби, багато людей мало б постраждати просто в цей момент. Thank <laughs> you.